Yes, come. Oh wait, I've got looting on my sword. Yes. Did I get one? No, I did not get one. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Shelly Plays Minecraft. So for today I kind of want to take a little bit of a break from the village but I'm not entirely sure what I want to do so we're going to just take a little look around. I'm really liking how this is turning out though. I mean look at this place. It is so beautiful. So we're definitely going to need to work on the residential area over there relatively soon and maybe kind of do a little bit more stuff just to make it look a little better but I'm thinking for now let's go to the nether and see if we can get some more wither skeleton skulls I need more beacons I'm not happy with the amount that I have so let's do that and I'll be back with you I did do something off camera and I'm really excited to show you it it's very simple it's not even anything super magical or not but it is right there Ooh, doesn't it look so pretty? This is actually a bit of foreshadowing for some certain things. Let's just say I've been working on some stuff behind the scenes and I'm going to very soon start showing you guys all of the things that I've been secretly working on. But for now, let's go down and Go get some of those skulls so that we can have a wonderful beacon. I want a beacon. Yes, I do. Okay. So. Huh. Wait, why aren't you working? Oh, I know why it's not working. I forgot to put my stuff on. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at all of them. Oh my gosh. There's... Oh, wow, I really am not capable of flying today. Okay. There are so many. Come to me so I can have your skull. Yes, come. Oh wait, I've got looting on my sword. Yes. Did I get one? No, I did not get one. But that's okay, because we've got more of them right over there. I may need to take off shaders for this, though, because this is quite a bit of... Oh, that was quick. Did I get anything? Probably not. Nope. We just keep waiting, though. Wait, wait, wait. And we will eventually get what we want. Oh, we got ahead. Yes. All right, so we got one head. I think that the best way to do this is actually to fly over here and then they spawn, usually. Just you and me. Yeah. Ha, just like that. Did I get something? Yes, I got another head. So that's four. Let's just get at least enough for two more beacons. So there's some more guys over here. So it's still the four skulls. So we just need another two at least to get another two beacons. Like, it shouldn't be that hard to get two more beacons, you know? 
I think you guys have probably seen enough of this, so I'm going to keep doing this until I get two more skulls, and I will see you guys in the end. We got some more. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. Give me your skull. I need it. I need it. Give it to me. Bleh. Oh, I see there's one right there on the floor. So, how many do we get? We're having better luck today than we have in the past. Oh, and there's, oh my gosh. Six skulls. Okay, maybe I'll stay and do it a little bit more. See if I can get some more skulls. <laughs> That's what happens, is you get a little bit of luck and then you get really greedy and think, ooh, maybe I can do better. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this. Yes, I'm gonna keep doing this and I will see you guys in the end to get some more stars. You see, what happens is you get too greedy because you think, oh, you know, I'm fine. No problem. You know, I got really lucky. And then you do it again for another hour and you get nothing. And that's because you got too greedy. You wanted the six heads. You got the six heads. Yes, so we've got obsidian, glass. Where did I put the nether star? Did I? Oh my gosh, I just freaked out. Holy crap. I was so scared that I like threw them away or something. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, two, two. Good. Now we've got some more beacons. Now where should we put them? So I came over here just barely and I realized that I hadn't checked this in a little bit and I kind of made a big mistake and it was way overfilled. So now we are just going to get some blocky poos. Iron blocky poos. That was so childish. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um... <laughs> But here we go. We get some of these. Wow, I can't believe this is so overfull. That's great though. That means that it's like seriously working. Oh, this is an iron farm. Mm-hmm. Oh god, it's so backed up though. It's not good quality. It was so backed up, the poor thing. It must have been so sad. Look at all of this iron. Oh my gosh. This is wonderful. Oh, this is wonderful. I do love having lots of resources. Lots and lots of resources. I am so happy. I'm so happy with this. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I was really happy about this and so I thought maybe I would, uh, <laughs> maybe I would take a chance to, to show it. Oh, the sun's going down though. But yes, okay, I'm going to see you guys when I get the beautiful new beacon up somewhere where we can get, get coverage from it. All right, now we just do boom, boom. Yes, perfect. This is good quality. Do that. And speed and, s well, haste. Haste and haste too. Very good. And speed and speed too. Yes. Okay, now we should have speed basically throughout the entire village. Because there's a double beacon there and a double beacon over there. And a double beacon over there. So eventually we're going to need to find like proper placement for these beacons. But that'll do it for now. So, yes. Now, I know that I had originally said that I wanted to take a break from the village today, but I'm really itching to do this residential area right here. So, I guess 
we're going to make this part three of Make the Village Great Again. Ooh. Also, there is like this really weird glitch where everything is kind of going black and I really like it. Ooh, netherite armor is going to look so good on me. Yes, it will. I am going to go and get some resources and I will meet you back here. So I think we've got a pretty good palette to work with here and we've got basically all of the colors of terracotta except for the ugly ones you know and by ugly I mean I don't know if you can do lime green but I can't seem to figure out how to make lime green dye. I tried doing yellow and blue together but nothing happened so no lime but I don't like the color lime anyways. So I've got all of these ones and I don't have orange terracotta because I think it's absolutely hideous. <laughs> so no orange. But then we have the stripped and the regular variants of all the woods and I'm not sure which one I wanna use. I know that that is all spruce and that is dark oak. So maybe we'll use, maybe we'll use some Birch? I don't know. I'm having a really hard time with this one. I kind of want to use a stripped log, but I don't know. So I'm going to get something kind of figured out. I'm just going to get the frames figured out maybe, and maybe I'll just use a couple different types of woods. This is the residential district after all, and the residential district doesn't have to be like suburbia. They don't have to be all the same kind of house so we'll figure something out but these are definitely going to be I think a little smaller houses I don't want to do really big ones like I did over here um I want them to be like one level houses and kind of like the idea of like apartment complexes I just don't think that it kind of goes with the overall design of this particular village but that definitely doesn't mean that we're never going to do an apartment complex. It just means that for this one, we're gonna snip it, stick to a simple thing. So let me figure something out and I'll be back with you. So instead of doing the layout for all of them, I kind of just thought maybe I'd make just the one for now. Obviously building on a smaller scale is, it's never gonna be as beautiful as it would be if it was on a bigger scale. You know, like these buildings are really stunning because you know they're bigger and we're working with blocks so I have more room to work with um, but I kind of half built this house and I like it it's very small and simple but I'm thinking it's probably the best we can do in this area although it does look a little flat I might do the roof like I did on those ones so it overhangs I just I was kind of scared to do the overhang at first just because it's such a small building but we'll see how that looks because I want it to be pretty dense I don't want it to be like this you know really really rural area um, and there's going to be a couple of streets in this area but yeah let me get a couple more houses in and I'll check back with you guys on this and that is house number two Hmm. I mean, it's kind of coming together. I did do a little bit different from this one too. I don't have anything filled in of the roofs, so we might need to do something there. It's not bad. This one's got a bit of character. I'm trying really hard to give them character. It's really hard to do that though when they're so small. But you know, I'm 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 trying. I, it's not bad actually it's not a bad house it was a bit more work to make than this one it's really hard to, to design a house that's so small like this but you know it's it's coming together i've got some roads in so yes i don't know this is definitely going to be a bit of a work to do this so i'm going to get a couple more houses in and i'll check back with you guys so I've got a couple, I've got a couple more, uh, three more buildings in and it really does look like it's kind of starting to come together. I like it. 
At first I was really unsure and I definitely don't think we're going to finish this today because this takes a lot longer <laughs> than um, it seems, but I've got two here and they're both very similar. They're one bedroom ones and I kind of color coded the beds. They're really not furnished that well, but we're probably never ever going to come inside them. So they're only um, there for the villagers to sleep in if they want to. And then we've got three beds in this one. And I think this one actually, yeah, this one's got an upstairs with storage that we're probably never going to use. Storage area. And then we got over here. But I'm trying to make them not all exactly the same. So this one is like an L-shaped building. This one is a building with extra bits coming off. These are two simple buildings. They're all different colors. And this is the pink one. This one has two beds and this one has actual chests up here. But you know, nothing super special, just simple. And so I am a good, going to eventually fill in this area and back here with buildings as well. But this empty area here, I decided this is actually going to be the, not the center of the village. Obviously the center of the village is still going to be over here. Not really center, but it's kind of like the, this is, you know, the street where most people are on all the time. But I was thinking over here, this little spot, we can kind of make this where the bell goes. So technically it's the center of town, but not really. And we could do like a garden thing here. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I'll figure it out. So I've got some more buildings in here. I think we've actually gotten quite a bit done today. So let's get this area done in there. So it's pretty simple. It's, it's nothing super incredible. It's not like the enchanted swamp, but I wanted a little like you know a little area here for now I've put the bell here so this is actually a tavern there is seating and some chairs it's, it's really not super special but there are some beds up atop so there's that for the villagers I think I'm gonna get some villagers in here but this is how the little well gardeny area is looking in the middle. I really, really, really like this. So let's get a view from above, shall we? Oh wow, this really is starting to look like something, isn't it? Oh wow. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Let's go up a little bit higher again. Oh, this looks so cool. Well, I think I am out of time for this week. I know that there's not a ton to show for it, but unfortunately, time is run out. So... I'm going to look forward to the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.